one thing that I'd like to kind of place a bit more of a focus on as we've entered into the new year is just going for hunts just for the sake of hunting. And obviously every hunt has the goal in mind of trying to take a trophy animal in Call of the Wild, but I want to at least a little bit get away from always grinding and always just kind of targeting one particular species. So we're out here on Yukon Valley in multiplayer today, and there are a couple of things I'd love to get off of this map, but I'm going to try to avoid just chasing them and just kind of go wherever the hunt takes us. I mean, what am I supposed to say? The first thing we're going to spot is a level 9 grizzly bear. This just happened on Layton. There's a bunch of bears in here as well. But we, we just did that 303 hunt, and the very first thing was an albino jackrabbit. Now, at least in this case, we have the proper weapons. And actually, oddly enough, I grabbed the 338 Championship Edition, and we got a diamond line with it. I think we might have got some other pretty cool kill as well. But this definitely could be a cool one to add to the list with that particular gun. And I will say, I mentioned that there are some things off of Yukon I'd love to get. An albino gold grizzly is one of them, and that is, at the moment, why we're actually kind of in grizzly territory, but, I mean, a level 9 will do pretty well. I'll try to get down here, and I'm not sure, I think there's room for a hard shot, so we'll let him kind of get his head down and then lift it again, and hopefully we can get that shot in there and drop him. That'd be a pretty cool way to start. Excuse me, Sir 12, if you could mind sitting down and not walking right in front of the crosshairs as we're trying to shoot. That will work a little bit better when there's no dog to mess up our shots, so go figure. I mean, pretty cool way to start out, and I should actually say as well, this is Kyla's map. Um, she's hunted it a little bit in the past and offered up the map for the opportunity to go on today. Evidently it had a pretty cool thing out here at the start, and who knows, I, I would like to say that's not the only good thing out here. So, grizzly bears are notorious trolls. And the question becomes, are we starting this video with a diamond? We are not a 66.8 gray-brown troll. I'm kind of happy about that because I really did, it didn't feel fair to start out with a diamond. Now that 633 kg mark, usually I would say that would make it. Uh, we missed it by 0.1. That would be about right. Cold a hard shot. I'm right at the very bottom of the heart as well. And... I think that's going to probably be a, a better start than just straight up killing a diamond and that being it, because I think I'd be more tempted to leave grizzlies if we shot a diamond. And now we can kind of continue hunting them and whatever else crosses our path. This has definitely worked out pretty well so far in looking at the two species that I would kind of consider the ones that I'd like to get a special animal of. By the way, we didn't end up reloading the 338, but a diamond moose, another diamond moose is one that I would love to get, by the way. Just casual hard shot, kind of trying to go for double lung. But yeah, there, there was a room, and again, it was going through the trophy lodge and doing that tour that reminded me of a lot of different things that I wanted to get. And there's a room where we have a small horns diamond gate buffalo and one diamond moose. I would just love to add a second diamond moose to kind of be on the opposite side of that one. And Again, we're not going to spend a bunch of time just going after grizzlies or just going after moose, but it is nice to kind of, I guess, highlight the two species that, at the very least, if we pick up a max weight track or uh, get into the correct drink time, we'll at least be kind of looking for them and going after them a little bit. But not a bad looking at level 4. A 243 in the tan fur type. I, I guess I can see why they described it as that. It just seems weird to even consider a moose like a, a tan color, but... Just double lung heart. Like I said, that was one of those ones where it's just kind of intuitive when it comes to the 338 and the bullet drop. Not necessarily going for the heart, but worked out that way and always looks nice to, to shoot something the size of a moose and just watch it insta drop like that. I want to say that is my second favorite rack for the caribou, at least, you know, non diamond racks. It's got those kind of like tall back tines, but it's not the split tines. Now, for this particular loadout, just kind of to bring some different weapons, I brought the 22H for Ducks and Red Fox, and I brought the 6.5 Rayo for kind of the medium-sized game, and I think that is possibly the best and worst weapon in this particular uh, scenario, 
if we can make like a, a precision neck shot, because of the accuracy of the 6.5, it could be good. If we end up in a lung or something, the sort of underpower side of it would show through, but fortunately able to get that neck shot. And now the negative thing is you can no longer kind of just fall off of a high point and use a med kit like as your health is dropping. That doesn't work. So we have to run all the way back. I think that does make, you know, hunting from this bridge a little less, I don't know, enticing. Because if you're going to shoot something you have to go and claim, it better be good because you got to run forever to go and get it. But I think that caribou is worth it. That is not at all how I remember this caribou dying. Like, why is it? I think it's hung up in this brush, but it almost looks like it's just standing there feeding. I mean, we'll take a screenshot of that. Maybe use it for a thumbnail. That's actually kind of cool. I quite like that. Still, though, I mentioned it. I think it was in that uh, 303 video because we shot a couple of rares. When I take a screenshot, it just absolutely kills the frames. And I don't have a clue why. But anyway, we can take a look at this guy. He was a 377. We just hit the top of the skull, though, and ended up with a silver. I still like this particular rack. I would like to see at least caribou, but probably caribou and reindeer true racks. Kind of like changed at some point because I feel like they should get a little bit bigger. And especially some more emphasis could be put on the shovels. Like the old legacy reindeer uh, diamonds were far more impressive in terms of like the the shovels they had versus the ones they have now so that's a hope for someday down the road but i think it is about 20 after 7 in game so we'll probably start to move off grizzlies a little bit maybe look for some caribou we could even look for wolves and red fox at some point we yet again we have a nice looking level 4 moose he is alarmed over there and i'm not sure that is entirely due to us in the bad wind there are a bunch of wolves up to the right, which most likely are going to flee. I was hoping they may oh, go aggressive. Now, again, we have the 6.5, and that is not the ideal weapon here. And I just think it's fun to try to, you know, defend ourselves from aggressive wolves with different weapons. I really enjoyed the 303 when it first came out, but I just think, you know, in a situation like this, with a subpar, you know, defense rifle, Early shots and hopefully early vital shots are the only way to actually get through it. And we may uh, end up getting taken down here, especially when we're shooting at already dead wolves. That's not going to help our case. There is a mythical. That's him right there. We might be all right. I mean, we've hit a bunch of them. And at some point, they are likely to end up fleeing. Now, of course, we have Sir 12, our new dog here. He does not have the trait that makes them... Uh, you know, ward off predators, but they did actually go ahead and flee. I would have liked to have a chance to, you know, maybe try to get a few more of them. Our health was still in a decent position there, but we'll kind of count how many we shot. Probably deleted a zone of Kyla's down here by the lake, but hopefully there wasn't too much interesting over in this area. Then, of course, we have to go and claim the level four moose as well, but I wanted to pay attention to the fur type because I know there are a number of different common variations. So gray is one of them. Hopefully we'll get to see another. There's one that's got like a, yeah, like a browner tint to it. Maybe they're all called gray. Or maybe they look different, you know, on the ground versus in the harvest green. That could be the case. They all have looked the same thus far. But like I said, I know there are multiple variations. We're only seeing gray come up in the harvest greens. I've not seen that mythical yet. There's blood there. And I am afraid we are a bit far back on the shot for the mythical. That is non-vital organ on a not max weight one. So at least that wasn't the mythical. Uh, I mean, I know we hit it. There's gotta be, maybe it's this one. Two different wolf tracks. I don't know. Oh yeah, they both were. All right, that's a little unfortunate, but we'll track them down and see what they look like. And I guess kind of fittingly, they dropped here in the same area. So we got gray and I think I saw on the map gray for the mythical that's so weird like i i guess we'll have to pay attention maybe as we're picking up tracks in these areas to see if we do see any other variations everything is coming up as gray but we do have definitely a level four moose down in fact he is laying right there that is pure luck 
was not aware that this was even the direction that he ended up going in, but about the same size, I think, as the one from earlier, a 241, and a light brown fur type for him. Just kind of a, a quick lung shot there with the 330 before he took off, but we've seen a couple of nice moves. Of course, we had the troll grizzly bear, and a mythical gray wolf as we're going along here. I actually wanted to kind of go down into that area. I've had a lot of success with both wolves and fox, so I wanted to pass through there. It is kind of getting into moose strength time. Um, I thought about maybe going to the swamp to wrap up, so actually what we can do is just kind of head down towards this road and go straight into the swamp. We're going to get another shot with the 6.5. I don't know if these are the same wolves. There was another pack that I had seen before I initially spotted the ones that did go aggressive on us. And I know that there weren't any, you know, special wolves in that pack. But I also don't know for certain that it was these wolves. Really wanted that brain shot there in the level 1 because I don't know how many are here. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but I've had it in the past where it looks like a, a very manageable pack of wolves and then a bunch more come over the hill. I don't hear any additional wolf sounds, so it may have only been the three, in which case we should be fine. And, you know, we could kind of call that two for two on fitting off packs of wolves with the 6.5, but this being a smaller pack and the first pack kind of fleeing early on, I feel like it's not quite as big an accomplishment as it could have been. But, yeah, it looks like we're good. I'm not sure what determines, you know, how often wolves go aggressive. We've not seen any that have fled so far, and this is just a solo level 5. Kind of coming on up here, I mean, if he's going to stand there, we can make that hard shot. And, you know, when we do wolf hunting videos, and, you know, we'll bring, say, a shotgun or the 454, or some kind of weapon that I think has the poten potential to do really well on aggressive wolves, it, it takes forever to get any to go aggressive, and in this case, you know, we're just kind of running around. I I'll admit I spotted that level 5 and wasn't going to shoot it, but then it went aggressive, and, you know, what do you do at that point? We have to take it out, so go figure. It's just kind of the way that wolves tend to work. When they go aggressive, you don't want them to, and when they flee, you wish they would come after you, but at least we're getting the opportunities. It took a return to the Crimson Plain, after passing through all of the kind of marshlands and seeing a whole lot of nothing. But we have, I think for the third time this hunt, a level 4 moose with that particular rack. And I think it could be fun, who knows the last time we fired this 338, didn't even reload it. I think it was on the last level 4 moose that looked like this, but we can attempt a hard shot at about 300. If we don't get it, I would like to think the 338 has the capability of reaching a lung. But ideally, we can just kind of drop him in his track, and he's actually over by the outpost. We essentially went all the way around, and it was in kind of getting more than 200 meters from him that got him to render in, but it was the second result there with the missed heart shot and ultimate lung hit. I was going to fast travel. Yeah, let's fast travel. I think it'll be okay. He just was starting to die. We might get the render glitch. If you go before they go down, then, then it doesn't matter, but... We'll see, hopefully he's just in view here. The way he went down, that's gonna rival the caribou from earlier. Minus the fact that there's kind of a rock through him, but we can deal with that. Let's get Sir 12 to come over here. He's doing really good at uh, being in the way today. So if, if that's the point of having a bloodhound, he's succeeding, but just want him to kind of stay out of the shot. I've, so many screenshots I've taken for thumbnails and so often, Regardless of whether it's Sir 12 or Rascal or Rocky, the dogs have a tendency to run in front of you and end up being the star of the screenshot. I totally forgot about the frame thing again, so we'll probably be a little more selective in where we take this screenshot at. I think just kind of up close and showing as much of the lake as we can. So I'm not even sure if either one of those are going to be the thumbnail image, but I thought it was pretty cool to end up having that once again, and a 237 this time. So, our smallest of the three nice size moose we had today. But I mean, to end up with what was a troll level 9 grizzly to start with, three nice moose, a couple of good sized wolves, it was a good hunt, and like I said, hunts like this where, you know, there's, there's no necessity to focus on one particular species, is something that I'd like to do a good bit going forward, but anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.